Hello, Captain. Let's build our leadership muscles and dive into an exercise called Emotional Cascade. Set the emotional tone for your team. Now, setting the emotional tone just means that your emotions, as the captain, as the leader, they can influence very similar emotions in others. The way I like to see it, it's, it's, it's like a yawn. Now, if one person yawns, then it's very easy for the other person to yawn as well. It's contagious. Now, why is this important? Well, I know you can think back to your own experiences where the emotions of someone else on your team, you know, the teammate or a coach or the crowd maybe has influenced you. And, you know, you might feel anxious or discouraged or frustrated or angry or defeated. And that influences your performance. You know, you're holding your stick a bit tighter. Your, your focus is narrowing. You're not making the same wise decisions that you normally do because of that emotions, the pressure, whatever it might be that you're feeling. And if we flip that around and we think to those times where we are feeling those emotions that are lifting us up or ones where we feel confident, we feel proud, we feel excited, we feel enthused, in those games, we can really lean into that with just so much more ease and we can see the whole pitch. We make really clear, wise decisions because we're able to be in that state of confidence or that state of uh, positivity in there. So that's what this exercise is all about. It's about thinking through, being intentional with the emotions that we're receiving, but then also as a leader, the emotions that we're spreading to our team. So let's go ahead and <laughs> dive into the first step. So what I want you to do is to reflect on the last time that you were with your team in the game, in the practice, team meeting, on the travel, wherever it might be. And I want you to think through whose emotions were influencing you. Was it a teammate? Was it the coach? Was it the crowd, as I said earlier? And I want you to think through a little bit deeper and see if you can identify what emotions were you feeling. Now, were they ones that lifted you up? Or were they ones that tightened you down, closed you down? And just some examples to put into your head. Was it the confidence or the pride or the excitement? Or maybe it was the anxiety or the pressure or the fear or the discouraged, feeling discouraged. Do this for 60 seconds, looking back on your last team interactions, whose emotions were influencing you and what were they? Go for it. Wonderful, fantastic work. So on to the second step now. What I want you to do is to think forward to your next team interaction. And I want you to see if you can identify one or two emotions, max, that you wanna influence and encourage in your team. And if we do more than, uh, more than two, then they'll get diluted. We won't be able to focus on those emotions as clearly. And again, just to put some examples into your head, maybe confidence, maybe pride, maybe excitement or encouragement, so again, 60 seconds to think through that stage. Go for it. Yes, 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 yes. Fantastic work. Thank you for diving into that. Now, I did just want to acknowledge and appreciate that this is tough. 
This is a, a really tricky leadership skill to master. And so we have to learn how to work with our emotions, be aware of our emotions, so that we can then understand what we wanna influence, what we wanna share with our team. But that's my encouragement to you when you're next with your team to dive into that to the best of your ability to model and express those emotions as clearly as possible. Because you'll see that they're contagious, that they'll spread through your team and that'll affect the performance of your team. Awesome, good luck and enjoy it.